This is the bus that will be the center of attention during the pilot project. It's about midway through its lifespan and has about six years of service remaining. Instead of going into the garage for regular maintenance, it's having major surgery. We remove the diesel components, so we take out the big diesel engine, the transmission, the fuel tank, and then we replace that with electric components. So we put in a much smaller traction motor and we put batteries placed around throughout the, uh, throughout the bus. So it has a, the propulsion goes from a com complete conversion from diesel to battery electric. The process will take about six months and this is what the electric engine will look like when it's done. Once the converted bus is road ready sometime in November of this year, D'Alessandro says it will go through testing and he hopes to have it in service by early 2024. One of the key advantages of us exploring this as a potential alternative is um, the readiness and the speed in which we can convert uh, something. So MTB Transit Solutions can convert this project within six to eight months. Uh, currently, given the current supply chain uh, issues related to new bus purchases or new anything new purchases, um, the lead times are quite long and longer than that. After joining the regular fleet of buses, the pilot project will turn to assessing the pros and cons of the diesel to electric conversion. Including getting customer feedback and getting you know, rider perspectives on how do they feel, is there a more comfort ride, is it, you know, is it important to them to continue exploring this project. We will also look at a lot of metrics associated with you know, savings in, in uh, greenhouse gas emissions and fuel and other uh, maintenance and mechanical components that are not necessarily involved with electric vehicles. On a larger scale, this is one part of an electrification feasibility study the town is conducting with an eye towards the procurement of an electric fleet. MTB Transit Solutions is looking to the future as well, potentially using this project as a way to become a leader in this space. We're also looking at repowering maybe a school bus, repowering garbage trucks, repowering mining vehicles as well. We know buses well, so we're going to start with buses, but we think this could expand to other forms of transportation down the road. He knows that other transit operators across the country are keeping an eye on this pilot to see how it works. Jason Trout for Halton News in Milton.